Sao's career. Can you tell us about this history and how it uh, comes in, into your paintings? Um, the Korean society was colonized by the Japanese imperial region for 36 years and it also experienced over 40 years of the dictatorship. Um, that means that Korean society had to endure a very harsh history itself. So because of that kind of very strict atmosphere, so many Korean artists uh, had a very difficult time to protest against its government. A few people were killed, uh, brutally killed by the government and a few, pe a few people really uh, got tortured seriously uh, during the democratic movement. Um, in my case, um, I tried to express my political standpoint in a very moderate, moderate way to make the story more widely acceptable. Uh, so this is the reason why I am using that kind of traditional technique and very cute and animated Im Im images to make my harsh story to more acceptable to the general public. Because this is the reason why I try to um, assess to the, the general public because the huge political revolution should be done by the very big number of the public. So I need their power and I want to be together. So this is the reason why I'm using this, this kind of artistic language. So in your paintings, you not only use a very specific visual language, but also a very specific technique which is silk, silk painting. Could you tell us about um, this technique and how you use it and for what reasons? This kind of technique is coming from the 14th centuries in East Asian countries, especially for painting Buddhism paintings. So um, almost a decade ago, I was uh, able to learn how to restore very old Asian paintings during my BA. And I find out um, I can apply this kind of technique uh, to make some kind of contemporary art uh, to express uh, my political standpoint. Because when I seen those kind of paintings, I was totally fall in love with those kind of techniques because it has a special aura that is very deeply hidden behind the very old Asian paintings. So. So the first time, um, I'm using this kind of techniques uh, to express my uh, political standpoint more widely acceptable, definitely. Uh, and rather than researching about the very deep philosoph philosophical or historical context, but I am keep looking to find the way uh, to how to make those kind of techniques to bridge between the past and contemporary artist, art practice together. Um, the exhibition Big Picture, Another Universe from the Past is comprised of uh, eight parallel universes that represent about the four seasons and day and night. For example, this painting is about uh, spring night and this painting is about summer day and this one is winter daytime and lastly uh, this painting is about the uh, autumn nighttime. Um, as you mentioned before, um, the each universe represents a special <coughs> universe and special social role in our society. Summer painting um, is about the army uh, who are conducting a war against the artificial intelligence that is a new form of our god. Um, just like another um, religion, um, the people try to create uh, some kind of the God um, to, for, it, for their uh, personal salvation. But I personally believe that, that the artificial intelligence, I mean the AI, uh, is, uh, is, a <clears throat> is not for the, the human salvation. Rather, it is, I think that it is about the kind of human extinction by lowering down the value of human labors. Uh, losing them is the first step and nobody knows what, will, what it will happen 
uh, after AI totally invented. Uh, so this is the reason why many, many scholars are warning how much it is dangerous, but our society is keep heading toward it to develop it and to make it to make their own gut. Often in your paintings you depict a rather depressing um, situation or you questions question contemporary issues uh, through um, war or um, an artificial intelligence or topic like that. But this particular painting with the title My Underground is more beautiful than your overground somehow in this uh, painting there is also hope um, the, this uh, autumn painting uh, representing about the scholars and especially it is about the revolution from the bottom um, i got the inspiration from the very old asian stories uh, that is about the seven scholars in bamboo forest um, they hide themselves to protect themselves from the very harsh government and they teach many many students uh, to make them change the world uh, in a very near future. So this ancient story about the scholars, how do you translate it into the contemporary in your paintings? Um, actually, I think that the Inher inheriting something to the next generation is very important thing, I think so. Um, because I personally believe that um, artist, artist is a neither politician who make a political agenda, nor social elite who try to enlighten the public. Instead, I think that they are making some, they are planting something, some kind of seed inside of the soil for the future generation. So what I, this is what I call the intellectual and artistic infrastructure. And this is what I'm doing now through the art artistic practice.